Hey, I'm Brian, Slasher and Suits. What's going on, dudes? And today we're covering Chucky, the season finale. All eight episodes are in the bag now. So now it's clear what Chucky's plan was the whole time. The whole time, his plan was to make an army of Chucky dolls. And he needed a child to kill somebody, anybody. And he convinced Junior to kill his dad, Devin Sawa. For a second time, he died two times already. Here's Chucky. Damn, what a good crack shot. She shot through the door, through the construction, like clear shower curtain sort of thing, too. You can't possibly see through that, so that makes it like John Wick level. Yay, Kyle saves the day. Kyle from Child's Play 2. That was very cool of her. And she needs to, like, double tap Chucky, right? With the voodoo doll, you're not sure how to kill him and everything. So you better shoot him up. Double tap that ass. Here's Chucky. Oh, man, what a cool line. Like, a very nice callback to The Shining, which was a callback to, what, Johnny Carson. So callbacks to callbacks. And this was pretty cool how they just shot this too. Like you see in slow motion, like his head actually like sort of explodes like twice, but that's cool. Like a couple of different angles of that gunshot was worth it. Got his head sawed off chopped off it's like a quick motion like chop but man she actually got like a regular knife and sawed it off in front of everybody and chucky had like his army of other chuckies right there man everybody was just as shocked come on army of chuckies hold me down you just gotta let her do this to me i thought we were all supposed to be like a hive mind we're supposed to be a team I mean, it's pretty cool to see Tiffany and Chucky sort of, like, break up again and again. And that uh, Chucky got his head cut off, so, right? Like, if you beat the gang leader, you the leader right now, right? Because that seemed like Chucky Prime, because he's, like, the very first one or something. And then she revealed that she was the one to drop rat on Chucky to begin with to get him shot up inside that toy store. So, bum, bum, bum. <laughs> Isn't it cute? My darling Glenda gave it to me. They have exquisite taste. <laughs> what? So Glenda, they mention her, him, whatever. <laughs> you gotta be very careful what you call that guy doll thing. So I guess he's like a professional bomb maker and Tiffany still talks to him. But, hey, here's another thing. that Chucky can move around without his head. So he didn't really die when his head got sawed off. All these sort of things added to his death. Like Andy beating the shit out of him with the baseball bat didn't help him live much either. At this moment, Kyle shows up. And they go, no, don't open the door. <laughs> so pretty much, it seems like Andy and Devin are in that basement. It blows up. You see, all right, Chucky Prime obviously dies with that too. But I think they implied that Kyle died during that explosion. And that's what we got to go with right now. So I'm still going to count it until we could confirm that she survived. That and thing. sure, we do see like a black glove holding a tree, watching over the kids when they're at the cemetery. But that black glove could be anybody for right now. So Kyle, I guess you're dead for now. Ethan. Oh man, Chucky goes on a butt stabbing spree. I don't know if he killed Lexi's dad with a butt stab because he was pretty like motionless, but I think if he gets stabbed in the butt, you pretty much scream like that lady did. And then he stabs a whole bunch of butts. He is killing a whole bunch of butts sitting in seats right now. 
I mean, it's a pretty big knife, and, you know, if it goes through your butt, maybe it could uh, hit some of your vital organs like that. So, all right. At first, I was like, how do you get killed from your butt? But this person almost seemed like, oh, maybe he got up and stabbed you in the chest as well. Well, there's a lot of craziness going on. A lot of people going overseas, trampling people. And you're like, well, how many people do die in this? But Chucky's got you covered because he went like a kill count recap at the end of this episode. So if you slow-mo, you could see how many he got credit for. So Chucky takes credit for 13, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. All of those were theater butt stabs. And I already counted two. He counted six. So add four to the list. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Butt stabs. You're thinking, how could a little doll possibly be so strong? Doesn't make any sense. You're nothing against the power of the great. Oh man, I love that to no end because what, it's been eight movies or something like that and uh, now a TV show and now you still can't be like, oh, why is he so strong? Well, he just shouted out Dembala. He's like, hey man, voodoo powers gives me super strength. Like, yes, finally an explanation for it. Leave her alone. Oh yeah, now I like this kill because you go, oh yeah, that's how you originally killed the Chucky from part one. You stab him in the heart. And then I got, oh, that's the reason they're showing Frankenstein too. Because Dr. Frankenstein created Frankenstein and then Frankenstein turned on him. Just like how Junior's turning on Chucky right now. Like, take this. But Chucky gave as good as he got. So, right, Junior got stabbed and dies. Oh man. I wish I could even do more with this whole Junior thing. Maybe he could live. That's one stab wound, right? You, maybe you could survive one stab wound. That Chucky could die because, right, you get stabbed in the heart, you're dead. But uh, too bad for Junior. So he really turned bad one episode. And I didn't think he was going to be like Team Chucky because he killed his father. That was just like a crime of passion. But killing your girlfriend especially like middle school or high school doesn't make any sense like killing your wife or girlfriend oh yeah totally makes sense you gotta live with the person and all that to want to kill him but middle school not so much when i killed your dad you were thrilled i saw it in your eyes i knew he'd never be able to hurt me again and this is how you thank me Damn, Chucky was throwing some truth at Jake. Like, all right, man, I did your dirty work, and now you're all against me. But, right, you did kill everybody else, though, Chucky. That's just one person. <laughs> and, oh, my goodness, Jake strangled the life out of Chucky. Popped his eyes out of his head and everything. It was very neat how Jake finally killed Chucky. And this is Chucky's third death just in this episode. But he's like, man, I don't need this knife. I'm going to do this with my bare hands, Chucky. And you kill the bad guy, you get the girl. Or in his case, uh, boy, wh whatever your preference is. So Jake, Devin, Lexi, her mom, her daughter, they all lived. How nice. And Jennifer Tilly sort just drove off. Right? The truckload of Chucky's got hijacked by Andy, who didn't die inside that explosion. And then all of a sudden, Tiffany shows up in doll form. So you're like, oh man, where are we going with this? I thought she was just in Jeff Tilly's body. Well, they announced a season two is actually happening. And who knows where we go from here, but Tiffany's making uh, Andy drive her to the airport with all those Chucky dolls. And don't worry about Chucky actually having, like, a human body to go to because Jennifer Tilly and Tiffany took care of that by cutting off her arms and legs. So, <laughs> I don't know. You might as well be a doll at that point. So, I got a total kill count of 13 for the episode. That is including three Chucky deaths. So, oh, it was pretty cool. I love this finale. I can't wait for season two to come out. Like, where are all those Chucky dolls going, right? They could be going anywhere. Maybe a crossover. I don't know. I'll come out with another video about that. So, all right. Like, subscribe if you like that. Follow me on Patreon and on all the things. And catch you dudes later. Later, dudes.